It wasn't even such a good pay. Oh yeah. Why don't we had our own troops? We'll hit some of theirs as well. What was that from? Uh, 27, 47, 87, 107, 120. Braveheart. Oh yes, uh, King Richard. Ah oh, yes, I imagine we will. We'll hit their troops as well. Day to the north, easy. I mean, we say we keep getting pulled north, but when you're in the south, the only way to go is north. In it. Uh, no, don't race the horse. So this guy will give himself a concussion and he gets a bit of money. Wait, Sabti. Oh, but that's fine. Yeah, no, that's that also cool. So that's nice. He's one of the sacrifices anyway. So yeah, that's actually totally worth it. 1,200 crowns. It's just going to cost us a bit of medical supplies. The Plunderer. Many Nomad Outlaws. Some Archers. Come here, the Plunderer. He has hoping he has a named Catal uh, Dagger. Might want to use goblin poison actually. Let's poison all these nerds, but let's let's save the goblin poison for like Sea of Tents or the barbarian boss fight. Ooh, named two-handed warhammer, which we are not using. <laughs> Well, I suppose it would have had to be a champion assassin if I wanted the named Katol. The 61% 61, 61 quick shot, that's actually worth. Well done. Righto, dagger lads, go make stabby stab. Shit, and Pebbles Walrus actually doesn't have Indom. That was underwhelming. Who is actually going to go front up to these guys? I think what we do is we put Raging Fury up here. And the two dagger lads there, but um, I think we send Jumas to deal with those lads. Surprisingly good armor damage from the handgun. Oh, what? <laughs> Walk forward, throw sand. Should they be able to throw sand if they're not actually on sandy terrain? Carry it in their pockets and shoes. Lol. Uh, 
<laughs> nice double kill. Right, now we go to the crossbow. Start picking off archers. Like, this is annoying. Only 34% chance to hit. Very little chance. And going through that CPAR shield is not going to happen, is it? What? Nasty done, my friend. Double kill! What's up, Wolfster? Looking forward to playing a bit of Deep Rock Galactic on Sunday night. I kind of want to make Sunday night uh, viewer games. Like, it doesn't matter what we play, but just get some lads together. There's so many options to play these days. Now, this hammer is fucking terrifying. So we need to get this guy stunned up. Nice. Good job. Good job. I think let's go crossbow. Uh, lucky community. Well, Jigger, just I like to think we're a community. A humble, small community, but a community nonetheless. Oh, God, that's so scary. Exactly, community night. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Come on, lads. Ostfreeze is kind of taking over as the number one ranged fighter. Oh, come on. Fuck off. Netted and breaking and quad surrounded and he still hits two out of three. What were the hit chances? Plunder 31% hit, uh, 40 missed, Plunder shatter, so 21 hit, 31 hit, ah, <sighs> unlucky. <laughs> right, I get daggered, you piece of shit. Long range from downtown, lost freeze. Right, Emery is standing by with another net if we need it. There you go. Down you go, big boy. Should I actually read the description of whether the Katal dagger does extra damage against staggered targets. I don't think it does. Because remember, Warhammers apply staggered. Look at that damage. That, that's plus base damage. Standard damage ignore. Standard effectiveness against armor. Shield damage 26, I think, is standard. Maximum fatigue is standard. So it's just extra base damage. But 71 to, to, to 106 is very high. I think it's 60 to 90 base. A massive hammer that is surprisingly well balanced, despite its huge weight. What it lacks in grace, it makes up for in raw force as it is used to shatter even heavily armored enemy lines by knocking people away or to the ground. Very nice. Uh, I need a temple. A little... The Hedge Knight. Okay, looks like we're fighting champions today. So, melee skill and ranged skill reduction. Okay, so that means he's out of that fight, that's for sure. Ah. 
Well, less champions. That makes me happy. Thin these buggers out. Oh no, this is the hedge knight. Ye olde well-known hedge knight. Anybody else have wrecked armor? Against raiders, few marksmen. I've never actually gone into this fight with these handguns. Normally I use the crossbows to pick off the enemy marksmen, but we've got Ostfries to do that. So let's just see how the handguns perform. Probably not all that well. One thing is for certain, I need to make sure that I have nets ready to net that hedge knight lad. Well, between Stobby and Jumus, I expect they should make short work of him. What's this worth? 2,800. Nice. Good money. Uh, dusk. Let's fight them before it gets dark. Too late. Catch them during daytime now. I uh, don't want to fight them at height. Rocky. Mm. The thing is, like, when there's height, height differences like this, it's just a risk. You, you're, you're putting yourself at the mo at, at the mercy of what what the map looks like. Nice legendary body armor. Finally, heavy body armor at that. That's what we needed. Been waiting for that. Well, I am pleased that our bounty hunter is actually giving us some champions we can fight now. Underwhelming the damage. That's not what I had in mind. Oh well. Anybody's gonna get chopped by this guy. Actually, that was silly. I can't imagine the hedge knight will be so dumb to go to that position. I think he's gonna go there. That's fine. Oh, we. I go back and forth about these handguns. Greatsword users so much. I mean, there's been a lot of talk, especially in the last episode, about how zero fatigue builds are so good and you just attack one one every turn. But what you saw there is the counter argument of the big swing and the hit again. 25 melee defense added, so 71 melee defense. Of course, now he has to spend the next turn recovering, but like that has pretty much won us the battle, just that one little series of hits there. life expectancy is going to be quite short oh, sweet and the fact that i can taunt is great 
can drop that guard. The problem with the handguns is often it's a struggle to not hit your own lads. Hey! Up for so. Start surrounding this lad now for the surround bonus. Man, I have terribly um, undervalued taunt in the past. Taunt is so much better than I've realized. It allows you to do so much else with your other brothers, you know? Like, you don't have to worry about someone else walking up and the danger they might be in, because you know, you know they're not going to get attacked. The predecessor, I loved it. I really loved it. Like, I mean, it's early on, they got a lot to do. But, I mean, I could have sworn I was playing uh, Paragon. You know, I can't wait for it to, you know, to, to grow and get bigger and better. It's becoming a problem now. Can we please stab this piece of shit and get his... Morale broken or disarm him. That also works. <laughs> also, I kind of wish that taunt would apply a defense malice. Do you think it would make sense? Like, because you're making someone recklessly attack. It's similar to the effect of those those uh, strange mushrooms. You guys hear that thunder? It is thundering fucking hard out there. You miss Rampage. Oh, I'm sure, well, I mean, the thing is, if it's a particular hero, you miss. And I miss plenty of the original Paragon heroes. Uh, they'll, they'll get added eventually. So 345 for 30, that's really good. That's more than 10 to 1. Masterwork plate vest, that is going straight onto our first assassin. Do you must, I don't know if it would be OP, hey? I mean, remember, like, the brother who's using taunt is then not using AP to do damage. Which I think counts for a lot. So a thick male hauberk combined with sturdy metal plates. The armor will protect its wearer even in the fiercest of battles. I think that that gets a lindworm coat. So for an extra 40 durability, taking it up to 385 for 30. That's damn near 20 to 1. No, no, it's a 15 to 1. Uh, excellent. Excellent. Do I have a better heavy uh, heavy armor? I do not. That is 200. I don't need that so much. That repaired. Repaired. It does look a little weird, but who cares? Super effective. Two very nice battles there. We got, what was it? Two legendaries out of it. The one legendary we're not going to use there. How are prices here today? Not good.
Also, also bear in mind, never mind the looks, that green collar was freaking hard to come by. I had to slay a lindworm for that. Uh, just outlaws and witches. Uh, let's see. It is us, the dogs of war, that stand before you. If you want it, come and take it. This is great. We're just having we're just having so much awesome loot come our way. Oh, that's nice. That's full coat of scales. You guys hearing that? That is some pretty damn intense thunder out there. The main thing I'm happy about here is, okay, obviously there is a master archer, which is a little shitty, but those are only tier two crossbows at least, so that's not too bad. I think I'm gonna throw some smoke here. Those are scary. If these guys don't come forward, but they are coming forward at least. Okay, good. So then I think what I wanna do is I wanna throw smoke so that these lads can advance. Let's see, 58%. 58 is worth quick shotting, I reckon. Done. That that full scale is, I think, probably one of the best heavy armors, not one of the best non-legendary armors. Sorry, doggo. Nothing personal. Damn, I needed a axe lad to break a shield here. In fact, I think you must stay where you are. It's likely these lads are going to close in and take the height disadvantage. <laughs> now, does Enko rush in there? I don't think so. He rushes in there, though, because he can split it that way. Oh, good dodging, boys. So where do we want to protect ourselves smoke-wise? From here. Now, Venthor needs to be in stabbing range of the Hedge Knight, but I don't know where the Hedge Knight's going to go. So just wait, honestly. Oh, shot. I walk up here, I just get stunned, so that's no good. Okay, the aim shot's almost always gonna hit, but at least it's only one attack per turn that he's throwing at us, so. The big question is where is the hedge knight going to go? Probably here. Now we. Fifty, fifty-five, forty-one. Yep. 82, that's a pretty damn good chance. Nah. Stabby stab, they don't like that. So only one out of three hit, which is disappointing, but at least something hit us, but it's 27%. Shot. I'm so glad so many of these mercenaries just start by throwing throwing weapons. Which really doesn't do all that much damage. 
Like if they came all forward and made this a straight line battle, it would be so much harder. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to break his shield, probably. It'll be too hard to go through it otherwise. Shot. How do you miss them both? Nice, good hit. Like the hit chances is 35. It's not bad. Yeah, we've got a nice... Okay, that, that's actually not even the full heavy helmet. These are all rubbish helmets. I mean, that, that's the nice helmet that we want. Oh, that was scale armor. I don't think that's even worth taking the... No, lamella. That's lamella, not scale, sorry. That lamella is just too heavy for the protection it gives. I'm not crazy about it at all. It's Footman's Armor, that's truly rubbish armor. I think Footman's Armor is on 194, 27 fatigue, it's terrible. Another fighting spear, that's always great. Finally. I love when they repost, you just ignore them. Fearsome did work though. I think I feel like Fearsome was a big part of him breaking. That was good. Oh god, he's still reposting, isn't he? But 81. Good hit chance. <laughs> nice white. Good job. Down you go, big boy. It's so nice that we're at this point where we can beat most of the mercenaries. It helps with that. <laughs> Jumus is struggling. That assortment of Hekmets. Correction, Malmets. Lol. Okay, so these are 230, which is actually an improvement on... That's just 200. It's 200. That's 210. That's also an improvement. But it looks like of the heavy armor, 210 is the lowest uh, we have. 285 for 40. In fact, yeah, like you can wear that really heavy stuff. We had a second set of heavy lamella, didn't we? There it is. 69. 77 is probably fine. Seventy-two, seventy-five. Mm. Looks like stream restarted, but it's fine now. We did get the scale, yes. The scale is now being worn by Pebbles Walrus with that coat of scales. Okay, so what do we have here? We have 260, that's actually quite nice. 72, 68. I don't think that's quite worth it. Another heavy lamella, interesting. 73, 81, he can wear something heavier, that's fine. Armor attachments, we only have the padding available, so we need to get more crafting materials. But Inventory is full, so let's go drop off here at Tannenvila. And then we'll sell everything we're carrying at Isenfest.
Also, how close is my assassin? 350 hit uh, XP points, then he's level 11. So we, we are very close to retiring Venthorn, I think. Now, Venthorn has definitely earned his retirement. He's had a long and very successful career. He has daggered a lot of nerds. One oh four. Let's just pop to the other southern city and see if we can get a bit of price. Camera's mark. One twenty four. I'm so glad I didn't sell out the other city. Okay, good. Uh, It does make me a little sad to sell that, but no one is actually using that weapon type, so... Do I even need this Sly Avenger? No, it doesn't have increased damage. Do I even need that heavy armor? I might be able to get rid of that. Just bearing in mind there that we are going to be getting one more lad in who's going to use heavy armor. Maybe two for a place Wolfgang as well. Could sell one set of that. The thing is that Wolf's the, one of the downsides for me is when I decide at the start of the campaign what I want the theme of my weapons to be, you're limiting yourself. But I mean, these things happen, I don't know. What can you do? This is more Lindworms, which I do want to do, but we need loads of tools first. Follow the tracks. So, the two-handed flails were a, a bust, as we pretty much thought they were going to be. But the one-handed flails on the nerds for those f from day zero to day 250, they were incredible. They were so good for getting us established and for doing a lot of uh, raider killing. They were just absolutely amazing. They were so good. I would absolutely do that again. Uh, he is lucky. Let's dismiss him. That's nice, but that's a waste. Come on, give me a dumb one, please. God, that cost us 4,000. Ooh, two handed. 20 and 102, extra chance to hit the head, max, it's just a very light uh, sword that's not worth buying for 12,000, not at all. So look, 50 to 75, base stats, bit of extra durability, 20 and 102, so it's slightly more effective against armor, base chance to hit the head and it's slightly lighter. Not worth. I think that's enough Battle Brothers for tonight. I mean, what we need to do is just have like one more battle to get white fully leveled up. I mean, how much does Venthorn need? 6,800. <laughs> Should we go do that Lindworm fight down to the south? Uh, 
after we've repaired the armor. Oh, nice. Yes. Awesome. Finally, we can join a war. Now we can, now the money's going to come rolling in. In that case, it's like, fuck the lindworms. Let's take part in a great battle. Look at this money. Che Ching. And I want to ally with this house, so we will accept this. Uh, house Eisenstein? No problem. I don't care which of the houses we're fighting against, as long as we're fighting for the greenhouse. Because we are the closest to getting allied with them. Before I decide whether I'm going to stop the stream now, I'm going to see how long was that first episode we recorded for tonight. Uh, it's 34 minutes. And I've streamed for two hours. Okay, so we can stop now. Right uh, Just a raider and a few hex and god, man. In the last hour or so, we finally started to get some, some good fortune. With respect to the mission types we are getting. Let's go kill those Hexen. And take part in this great battle. Nice. Great, 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 great. Finally, sorry, why you just in time for the battle runners to stop. So those of you watching on YouTube, as usual, you'll have one episode a day. <sighs> and it's taken us, what, 450 days, but we finally got our first noble civil war and it couldn't come soon enough because we're trying to get 50,000 gold saved up but we can just keep slamming these uh three skull civil war missions and we're gonna make like five six thousand gold per mission it's gonna be wonderful cash money <laughs>